Okay, we are about to install Akinia PIM. Uh, we'll install the version 4.0, which is the latest version at the moment. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Um, for that to happen, we need uh, to go to GitHub, look for Kinia. Uh, let's just pick it. Okay, Kinia, Kinia, Kinia. Oh, yeah, let's go here. Just pick any the source of Kinia slash. And just go here. That's how I do. Basically, this is the URL we should have go to. Um, yeah, this is the place Akinio stores, Akinio team, Akinio company uh, stores the repositories of theirs. And uh, the two repositories we are the most interested at in is those two. Those like uh, the first one is this PIM coming to death, which is kind of core of the PIM, and PIM coming to standard, which is kind of the installer installer which installs the core and uh, then we have that UI you may use click and so on so we pick this one and that's what we need to install um, yeah and as every project uh, this one as well it has all the actually the readme md file and yeah we, we just need to read that so in here we have every like not every but like um, just an intro uh, installation instructions that's what we are interested in the most uh, we will install uh, the project with the docker I will later explain uh, why it is so and as usual there are some requirements that's okay let's see uh, I will just uh, actually I have the type tree already prepared for that uh, that's the path to it and that's the empty type tree and I will open the terminal and uh, just uh, yeah it will tell you that's exactly the same type tree and uh, let's say oh, nice. oh, it just tells you that there is no there are no files no like, hidden files no things like that it's just an empty type tree and we need uh, to look for docker and we see it like that docker the dash version yeah i have a docker and docker compose as well docker compose version yep i have it here and make as well make version yep i have it as well so in order to have uh, not in order but uh we need docker 19 and above and we have docker version 19.03 which is okay in this case docker compose version 1.24 or above which is okay here as well 1.26 and we need to have make there is no specific version for that so we just have it and it should be fine according to the documentation of course yeah if you don't have any of these at least one of these just get it because you will be out of luck at the end uh, you will have some problems basically but yeah you better have these ones and if you have some version mismatch for example you have docker compose 1. I don't know, 11 you better have that version increased because again you may have some weird problems at the end you don't want to have these okay so in order to install uh, PIM itself, you just run those two commands. So we run one of them in here and just copy paste and just hit enter. And it starts to do its job. That's, yeah, we just need to wait basically and wait for some time. And while we are waiting, I may explain why we, um, while, while we are installing Docker. Uh, version and not the version without docker so for example here see installation without docker it's also possible but uh, as my own experience tells me uh, in the 
past we actually had some issues with installing the project without docker because there are always some minor mismatches that's confusing and that's making some troubles uh, and the troubles in like a uh, big scale <laughs> in the big scale i mean that it's very hard to debug all those uh, errors on the way so for example there was a case i believe the uh, minor version of the yarn was missing uh, not a missing but mismatching uh, between the version uh, expected by Akinia Pim and the version we had and then we kind of got error and then there says there's a problem with the file but actually there was some kind of bug fix I believe in the yarn or somewhere not not sure but like yeah there was an issue with that especially the front end building the front end is kind of painful some issues with the back end I believe we had those as well but the thing is that uh, the docker containers has all the versions needed all the extensions needed and so on so you just get a better day if you use it with the docker I highly suggest and I don't use installation without docker anymore just with the docker if you're new to the docker that's not a big deal just go and learn docker just go for the docker it's not that much that that much commands you will need here but <laughs> at the end i believe you will save some some hours even if you <laughs> learn docker on the way comparing to the the another path that you would have to just install it without docker and then solve all those errors if you are lucky enough you may not have the errors but yeah i was not that lucky enough for almost like i don't know 95 percent of the time probably so yeah take care <laughs> okay so docker and non-docker version that's that's kind of clear right um uh okay the versions itself uh, akinia comes into versions basically it has the community version and enterprise version uh, enterprise is the paid version and community version is the free, free version of course right so yeah enterprise version is actually the extension to community version we may think it like that because it has some additional features, uh, additional, I don't know, yeah, functionalities, but it uh, requires community version to be on place as well in order for the enterprise to function normally. Like, not the normally, but uh, I mean, if you come here, uh, this is the really the core of it, like the, the core of the PIM, uh, Akinia PIM itself and it's useful and needed and required by uh, Akinio PIM Community Edition as well as by Akinio PIM Enterprise Edition uh, the thing is that Akinio Enterprise Edition will include some more features as I told yeah and here again is the installation package kind of installation like a repository whatever the files for installing a kinia uh, in community so basically this repository yeah use it this one and for the enterprise version you will have another uh, like pim enterprise standard i believe that will install this thing pim community dev and on top of that you will have the private repository that you will install the PIM Enterprise Dev from on top of it. So at the end in the PIM Enterprise standard, I don't remember the name, I think it's like PIM Enterprise standard, uh, you will have PIM Community Dev and PIM Enterprise Dev on top. So you will have the bigger PIM, <laughs> more functionalities and so on. Okay, so let's come back here. The first step is done. We just need to run another make again make let's wait again so yeah so this is the difference uh, by the community and enterprise from the developers point as points as well 
because it's just an extension. So if you know PIM community dev uh, and you will have the PIM enterprise dev, so those nodes will be okay for you. I mean, you just need to extend on top. You need some more knowledge in order to deal with the enterprise dev version as well. Yeah, and yeah, of course, you may look into that just to confirm this. So, this this are just a couple of files, and that's composer JSON. And you see, it just requires one package, which is been coming to dev as it all, just a yeah, it's just the core, and in the enterprise version we'll have two. Basically, we'll have PIM community dev and PIM enterprise dev as the dependencies under require. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, PIM itself comes in. Uh, let's go here. It's over there. Uh, it comes in uh, several. Let's keep that one here just to see what's happening there. Um, yeah, it has a couple of branches here which uh, represents the versions of the PIM. Uh, the version 4.0, which is the latest one at the moment, which we are installing actually. There's also 3.2, 3.1, and so on and so on. Uh, 4.0, and those two, I believe, are maybe those. I don't remember actually, but those three probably are still under development, under under support, and the rest is out of kind of out of support already. Uh, yeah, so if we will go to let's say tags and releases, we will see that version you see 4.0.52.51.50. There is 3.0. Yeah, so version four and are still under development under support and they contain some updates uh, yeah this 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 happens and in here you may see that yeah you see this version only contains enterprise fixture improvements uh, this is interesting because they are uh, no matter which version you update uh, pim community dev or pim enterprise dev you will update the uh, you will increase the version of both which means that if you change something in the enterprise, uh, PIM community dev uh, code base, let's call it, will also change a bit to just in order to increase the version. And the same is opposite also, because if you have the, this is the, uh, the feature or the fix, whatever, uh, done on the and, uh, community version, but, it may not have any updates on the enterprise version and still the enterprise version will uh, rise to the same level 4.0.51 in this case yeah and as you see they do not list anything like what have they done on that side on the enterprise side just they don't they just list those but when there is nothing to list on the community version they just say that enterprise only is updated yeah this is kind of about it right and one more thing maybe as you see there is also pim community dev yeah the installation has finished just a quick thing uh pim community standards as well we are here on the pim community dev and pim community standard tags again releases and as you see the versions all are also the same here so they keep up with all those versions as well, which means that installator itself, the skeleton, will also increase in the versions. It seems so. Uh, I have I have no information that it's like true, but it seems so. Like you see, the versions are completely the same. The time itself is also the same. Repositories are different, so yeah, they kind of sign synchronize those. Uh, okay, so let's come back to the PIM community standard readme.md file and that states that we need the PIM will be available on this Okay, let's check and This is that URL and yeah, this is the UI and if we look here 
Uh, it says that with admin admin as default credentials as you see anonymous uh, entrance is not possible so admin and here admin and login and here we have it the pin itself is up and running right you can go to the list of products the products imports exports some settings system information here you see addition is ca which stands for community edition in the enterprise world it would be aa we have version ee -E? yeah e <laughs> not aa yeah version it's it's the latest one the one we installed in the enterprise world there will be a bit more uh menu items here as well much more functionalities not that much but yeah a lot more um, yeah this is probably it we have it right it's running yeah so that's it